family tragedy in Upland. A 20-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of beating his grandmother to death and setting a house on fire. In accused of shooting and paralyzing a decorated soldier says he is ready to face the judge. Ruben Ray Hurada was scheduled to be arraigned today on a charge of attempted murder, but as Chip Yost reports, he asked for a delay so he could be in court to tell his side of the story. Major developments today in the Republican race for president. Just six days ahead of the crucial Iowa caucuses, candidates are shuffling their feet and shifting their stance in an attempt to win over voters. And a new USA Today Gallup poll also shows the president in a statistical dead heat with both Romney and Gingrich. But political observers say Ron Paul may be the wild card in this year's Republican race. And we probably shouldn't be too surprised if he finishes first in Iowa next week. We targeted a controversial nativity scene and tonight police are investigating it as a hate crime. Rick Chambers joins us tonight. Major developments today in the Republican race for president. Just six days ahead of the crucial Iowa caucuses, Canada and their staff are shuffling and shifting in an attempt to win over voters. Also tonight, if it comes down to Romney versus the president, a new survey suggests Latinos will continue to vote Democratic. The Pew Hispanic Center says the Latino community favors Mr. Obama despite a record number of deportations during his administration. A family in the South Bay is devastated tonight after a thief snatched their new puppy out of their car. KTLA 5's Liberty Chan spoke with the dog's owner who calls it a cold-hearted crime. Angry moms gathered at a Target store near Houston, Texas, and a number of other locations to nurse their babies in public.